In modular arithmetic, a branch of number theory, a number g is a primitive root modulo n if every number k prime to n is congruent to a power of g modulo n. That is, for every integer a k prime to n, there is an integer k such that g k a permal a. Such k is called the index or discrete logarithm of a to the base g modulo n. In other words, g is a generator of the multiplicative group of integers modulo n. Gauss defined primitive roots in Article 57 of the Disquisitions Arithmetici, where he credited Euler with coining the term. In Article 56 he stated that Lambert and Euler knew of them, but he was the first to rigorously demonstrate that primitive roots exist for a prime n. In fact, the Disquisitions contains two proofs, the one in Article 54 is in one constructive existence proof, while the other in Article 55 is constructive. Elementary example, the number 3 is a primitive root modulo 7 because. Here we see that the period of 3k modulo 7 is 6. The remainders in the period, which are 3, 2, 6, 4, 5, 1, form a rearrangement of all non-zero remainders modulo 7, implying that 3 is indeed a primitive root modulo 7. Curiously, permutations created in this way have been shown to be costus arrays. Definition: If n is a positive integer, the integers between 1 and n a1 that are k prime to n form a group with multiplication modulo n as the operation. It is denoted by z n a, and is called the group of units modulo n or the group of primitive classes modulo n. As explained in the article Multiplicative Group of Integers modulo n, this group is cyclic if and only if n is equal to 2, 4, p k or 2 pk where pk is a power of an odd prime number. A generator of this cyclic group is called a primitive root modulo n, or a primitive element of zna. The order of zna, is given by Euler's totient function i, n. Euler's theorem says that i, n, a per mil 1 for every a prime to n. The lowest power of a which is congruent to 1 modulo n is called the multiplicative order of a modulo n. In particular, for it to be a primitive root modulo n, i, n, has to be the smallest power of a which is congruent to 1 modulo n. Examples, for example, if n equals 14 then the elements of zna, are the congruence classes 1, 3, 5, 9, 11, 13. There are i, 14, equals 6 of them. Here is a table of their powers modulo 14. x x, x 2 x3 1 1 3 3 9 13 11 5 1 5 5 11 13 9 3 1 9 9 11 1 11 11 9 1 13 13 1 The order of 1 is 1, the orders of 3 and 5 are 6, the orders of 9 and 11 are 3 and the order of 13 is 2. Thus, 3 and 5 are the primitive roots modulo 14. For a second example let n equals 15. The elements of Z15a, are the congruence classes 1, 2, 4, 7, 8, 11, 13, 14. There are i, 15, equals 8 of them. x x, x 2, x 3. 1, 1, 2, 2, 4, 8, 1, 4, 4, 1, 7, 7, 4, 13, 1, 8, 8, 4, 2, 1, 11, 11, 1, 13, 13, 4, 7, 1, 14, 14, 1. Since there is no number whose order is 8, there are no primitive roots modulo 15. Indeed, i, 15, equals 4 where i is the Carmichael function. Equals table of primitive roots equals, numbers which have a primitive root are, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, 10, 11, 13, 14, 17, 18, 19, 22, 23, 25, 26, 27, 29, 31, 34, 37, 38, 41, 43, 46, 47, 49, 50, 53, 54, 58, 
59, 61, 62, 67, 71, 73, 74, 79, 81, 82, 83, 86, 89, 94, 97, 98, 101, 103, 106, 107, 109, 113, 118, 121, 122, 125, 127, 131, 134, 137, 139, 142, 146, 149. This is Gauss's table of the primitive roots from the disquisitions. Unlike most modern authors he did not always choose the smallest primitive root. Instead, he chose 10 if it is a primitive root. If it isn't, he chose whichever root gives 10 the smallest index, and, if there is more than one, chose the smallest of them. This is not only to make hand calculation easier, but is used in a section 6 where the periodic decimal expansions of rational numbers are investigated. The rows of the table are labeled with the prime powers less than 100. The second column is a primitive root modulo that number. The columns are labeled with the primes less than 100. The entry in row P, column Q is the index of Q modulo P for the given root. For example, in row 11, 2 is given as the primitive root, and in column 5 the entry is 4. This means that 24 equals 16 a per mil 5. For the index of a composite number, add the indices of its prime factors. For example, in row 11, the index of 6 is the sum of the indices for 2 and 3, 21 plus 8 equals 512 a per mil 6. The index of 25 is twice the index 5, 28 equals 256 a per mil 25, the entry for 3 is 8. The table is straightforward for the odd prime powers but the powers of 2 do not have primitive roots. Instead, the powers of 5 account for one half of the odd numbers less than the power of 2, and their negatives modulo the power of 2 account for the other half. All powers of 5 are a per mil 5 or 1. The columns headed by numbers a per mil 3 or 7 contain the index of its negative. For example, modulo 32 the index for 7 is 2, and 52 equals 25 a per mil a 7, but the entry for 17 is 4, and 54 equals 625 a per mil 17. The following table lists the primitive roots modulo n for n a per mil 72 currency. It is conjectured that every natural number except perfect squares appears in the list infinitely. The sequence of smallest primitive roots mod n are 0, 1, 2, 3, 2, 5, 3, 0, 2, 3, 2, 0. 2, 3, 0, 0, 3, 5, 2, 0, 0, 7, 5, 0, 2, 7, 2, 0, 2, 0, 3, 0, 0, 3, 0, 0, 2, 3, 0, 0, 6, 0, 3, 0, 0, 5, 5, 0, 3, 3, 0, 0, 2, 5, 0, 0, 0, 3, 2, 0, 2, 3, 0, 0, 0, 0, 2, 0, 0, 0, 7, 0, 5, 5, 0. For prime n, they are 1, 2, 2, 3, 2, 2, 3, 2, 5, 2, 3, 2, 6, 3, 5, 2, 2, 2, 2, 7, 5, 3, 2, 3, 5, 2, 5, 2, 6, 3, 3, 2, 3, 2, 2, 6, 5, 2, 5, 2, 2, 2, 19, 5, 2, 3, 2, 3, 2, 6, 3, 7, 7, 6, 3, 5, 2, 6, 5, 3, 3, 2, 5, 17, 10, 2, 3, 10, 2, 2, 3, 7, 6, 2, 2. 
the largest primitive roots modulo n are 0, 1, 2, 3, 3, 5, 5, 0, 5, 7, 8, 0, 11, 5, 0, 0, 14, 11, 15, 0, 0, 19, 21, 0, 23, 19, 23, 0, 27, 0, 24, 0, 0, 31, 0, 0, 35, 33, 0, 0, 35, 0, 34, 0, 0, 43, 45, 0, 47, 47, 0, 0, 51, 47, 0, 0, 0, 55, 56, 0, 59, 55, 0, 0, 0, 0, 63, 0, 0, 0, 69, 0, 68, 69, 0. For prime n, they are, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 11, 14, 15, 21, 27, 24, 35, 35, 34, 45, 51, 56, 59, 63, 69, 68, 77, 80, 86, 92, 99, 101, 104, 103, 110, 118, 128, 134, 135, 147, 146, 152, 159, 165, 171, 176, 179, 189, 188, 195, 197, 207, 214, 224, 223. Number of primitive roots mod n are, 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 2, 0, 2, 2, 4, 0, 4, 2, 0, 0, 8, 2, 6, 0, 0, 4, 10, 0, 8, 4, 6, 0, 12, 0, 8, 0, 0, 8, 0, 0, 12, 6, 0, 0, 16, 0, 12, 0, 0, 10, 22, 0, 12, 8, 0, 0, 24, 6, 0, 0, 0, 12, 28, 0, 16, 8, 0, 0, 0, 0, 20, 0, 0, 0, 24, 0, 24, 12, 0. For prime n, they are, 1, 1, 2, 2, 4, 4, 8, 6, 10, 12, 8, 12, 16, 12, 22, 24, 28, 16, 20, 24, 24, 24, 40, 40, 32, 40, 32, 52, 36, 48, 36, 48, 64, 44, 72, 40, 48, 54, 82, 84, 88, 48, 72, 64, 84, 60, 48, 72, 112, 72, 112, 96, 64, 100, 128, 130, 132, 72, 88, 96. Smallest prime n with primitive root n are, 2, 3, 5, 0, 7, 11, 11, 11, 0, 17, 13, 17, 19, 17, 19, 0, 23, 29, 23, 23, 23, 31, 47, 31, 0, 29, 29, 41, 41, 41, 47, 37, 43, 41, 37, 0, 59, 47, 47, 47, 47, 59, 47, 
47, 47, 67, 59, 53, 0, 53. Smallest prime with primitive root nr, 2, 3, 2, 0, 2, 11, 2, 3, 2, 7, 2, 5, 2, 3, 2, 0, 2, 5, 2, 3, 2, 5, 2, 7, 2, 3, 2, 5, 2, 11, 2, 3, 2, 19, 2, 0, 2, 3, 2, 7, 2, 5, 2, 3, 2, 11, 2, 5, 2, 3, 2, 5, 2, 7, 2, 3, 2, 5, 2, 19, 2, 3, 2, 0, 2, 7, 2, 3, 2, 19, 2, 5, 2, 3, 2. Equals arithmetic facts equals, Gauss proved that for any prime number p, the product of its primitive roots is congruent to 1 modulo p. He also proved that for any prime number p, the sum of its primitive roots is congruent to i1 quarter, p a1, modulo p, where i1 quarter is the Ma paragraph bias function. For example, p equals 3, i1 quarter, 2, equals a 1. The primitive root is 2. p equals 5, i1 quarter, 4, equals 0. The primitive roots are 2 and 3. p equals 7, i1 quarter, 6, equals 1. The primitive roots are 3 and 5. p equals 31, i1 quarter, 30, equals a 1. The primitive roots are 3, 11, 12, 13, 17 a per mill 14, 21 a per mill 10, 22 a per mill 9, and 24 a per mill 7. Their product 970,377,408 a per mil 1 and their sum 123 a per mil 1. 3 a, 11 equals 33 a per mil 2, 12 a, 13 equals 156 a per mil 1, a 14, a, equals 140 a per mil 16, a 9, a, equals 63 a per mil 1, and 2 a, 1 a, 16 a, 1 equals 32 a per mil 1. Finding primitive roots, no simple general formula to compute primitive roots modulo n is known. There are however methods to locate a primitive root that are faster than simply trying out all candidates. If the multiplicative order of a number m modulo n is equal to, then it is a primitive root. In fact the converse is true, if m is a primitive root modulo n, then the multiplicative order of m is. We can use this to test for primitive roots. First, compute. Then determine the different prime factors of, say p1, pk. Now, for every element m of zn, compute. Using a fast algorithm for modular exponentiation such as exponentiation by squaring. A number m for which these k results are all different from 1 is a primitive root. The number of primitive roots modulo n, if there are any, is equal to. Since, in general, a cyclic group with r elements has generators. If g is a primitive root modulo p, then g is a primitive root modulo all powers p k and less g p a euro 1 a per mil 1. In that case, g plus p is. If g is a primitive root modulo p k, then g or g plus p k is a primitive root modulo 2 p k. Finding primitive roots modulo p is also equivalent to finding the roots of the cyclotomic polynomial modulo p. Order of magnitude of primitive roots, the least primitive root g p modulo p is generally small. Equals upper bounds equals, Burgess proved that for every i micron zero there is a c such that, Grossval proved that if, then. Shoot proved, assuming the generalized Riemann hypothesis, that g p equals o, log 6 p equals lower bounds equals, Friedlander and Salia copyright proved that there is a positive constant c such that for infinitely many primes g p c log p. It can be proved in an elementary manner that for any positive integer m there are infinitely many primes such that m. 